Well, today I figured I'd show everyone how I do water changes. This here little system comes out uh, two filters, and I got a little tap there. I put a hose on. Comes out here very high pH out of this hose, and then I'll just run it over. <clears throat> I run it over here to my barrel, and if I want uh, to fill my barrel with low pH air or I put this two together on this like that if I want high pH water in my barrel I leave it like that that there's a Breda filter in there it's just PCP pipe works well so I can fill my barrel with low pH water for Sunday changing with my low pH tanks and today's the middle of the week so right now that barrel has high pH water in it. If I filled it up two days ago, that lets the chlorine evaporate out of the water on its own. So I don't gotta use no stupid chemicals. Although I do have chemicals if I need to do emergency water changes. Here's the gizmo I use to uh, take out my water now. I use a gravel vac. I put in a bulkhead and a tap, and that runs down. You gotta keep this level below the tap, or it won't work. And it goes down the hole here, in the floor. I'll show you downstairs. It comes in there through the floor, runs down here, into the main drain of the basement. Now, the trick here is not to have that end too far down because if it gets in actually in the water it won't work because it will back funnel and it just won't well, it just doesn't work yeah, back upstairs now as you can see I got a normal vac hose and I you know gravel vac everything <laughs> Playco. Oh, watch it, buddy. Well, I have three tanks that use high pH water, but they're the, my bigger, biggest tanks I have. So it uses up pretty much the whole barrel that I have out there. So when I go to fill up low pH water, the, <clears throat> as one would say, there ain't much high pH water in there, so it does come out low pH anyway. And it's, as you can see, the bucket's not really filling up. Sometimes you have to uh, do this off and then back on. But it looks like I didn't have to this time, even though I just did. Because I can see the glow for fluid going down. But this way, I ain't got to carry buckets. I only got to carry a half a bucket at the end. See, now I'll just make that weird noise until I'm done. But I ain't got to carry the buckets, which is really good. <laughs> going real slow. Looks like I might have plugged it up or something. Yeah. There we go. Don't take much to plug that thing up. I 
But that's the same with every uh, gravel vac. Anyway, this is one tank that I drained down. Looks like it slowed down again. Yeah, it did. I'll fix that, I'll just take this in piece off that plugs it up. There we go. I was going to have to take it off anyway to clean it up because it won't get any suction again without that. Here we go. Get down to that log today. I don't get under it every time, but it doesn't hurt to go under there once in a while. I don't want stuff building up in certain areas. And I think I pulled out enough water. Yeah, we'll let a little more come out. Alright, we'll stop that piece there. and I'll drain down the other tanks and then turn the video back on. Well, I figured I'd talk about a couple other things. As you notice, i got lots of bubble makers. My entire fish room runs off that one pump up there. And it just gets piped around, piped around the rope. I finished that gravel back in here, so I'm just letting it drain on its own the rest of the way. These are the three tanks that used to be high pH water. The new cichlid tank, my goldie fish tank. It only got two goldie fishes in it. And my koi is over there. Hey, Stone. And, uh, yep, see it making that strange noise still. Oh, another thing is my lights are on that timer right there. They come on at 8 o'clock and they shut off at, at 5 o'clock. It's good for the plants that way. They get uh, regular hours just like real sunlight. We'll let that continue draining. I'll show you out here my barrel again. Now, there's the hose. And you look down here, I got a, a big pump down there. All I do is turn on that power bar, run that hose to my room, and fill my tanks back up. I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, like I said, you just. Uh, Turn the power bar on, turn the pump on. I already run the hose in. I got it off on this on the bowl valve though right now. But sometimes the hose gets tangled up, so I don't uh I run the hose in first. As you can see I can fill up the tanks pretty quick with this. I better if I had two hands and mess with the valve a little more. There we go. But as you can see, I can fill up the tanks pretty quick like this. And the thing about having a reservoir or a barrel or whatever you, whatever you might set up yourself is um, that the water becomes room temperature, which is better because most of your tanks are room temperature unless you run the heaters. Like in several, some of my tanks, like I run a heater in my angelfish tank. A little heater over there. A lot of my tanks I don't run heaters in. See, I run a heater in that one there, see the temperature? And I, and I don't run a heater in that one, and it's higher right now, well, it's summer, right? So, that heater never turns on in the summer. Not during the heat, anyway. <clears throat> well, you can see it didn't take long to fill up this 38 long. Uh, <clears throat> 38 tank there, 38 gallon.
goes pretty quick. Turn off the valve. Then you go to the next tank, etc. etc. I'll show you after they're filled up. After you've got your tanks filled up, what I do is I curl that above my head, above my body, which is as long as it's above the height of your barrel reservoir, you can drain out the hose so there's no water in it. That way you don't get uh, mildew inside your hose and stuff, and then you just seal off the end with the ball valve and it stays good and the hose stays pretty clean on its own as long as you don't leave water in it well there we go uh, I think this is a winning idea the bucket with the bulkhead and the hose and stuff like that I used to carry five gallon buckets all the time now when I drain my water out when I'm done all I got to do is carry a half a bucket to the sink and I can also use that half a bucket of water to wring out one of my filters or sponge filters or whatever I need to clean. All right? Okay, um, let's talk about my fishies a little bit. This here's my koi tank. There's snow, sunshine, dragon wagon. Yeah, dragon wagon's a cool fish. I like snow too. Anyway, um, I keep these here uh, filter bags. I fill them with moss plants. So my koi's can't eat the plants. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it allows me to keep plants in with my koi. And I have enough of those in there that, that grows outside the bag. The koi's eat it. That Now with this thing, uh, light here I got from Amazon, it's so bright. It's just a shop light at 5000K that it grows those like mad that I can grow the moss outside and the koi's just can't keep up with it, which is really cool. They eat it once in a while. But uh, you get sick of jabba moss after a while. <laughs> Anything else interesting I can think of in here? Oh yes, my crab habitat. Here's my crab inside there. That's underwater island, as would say. That's air. It, it's all air inside there. Crab can climb up inside here through there, as you can see, or you can climb it through this back side in there too. There we go. He can climb up through there as well, and then he comes out when he wants to come out. It's pretty cool, I think. Oh, I didn't put this back yet. There we go. This is my new cichlid tank. This is the first time for me with cichlids. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I got uh, coral, uh, coral uh, rocks down there. Crushed coral, that's what it is, yeah. And uh, yeah, everything, like I say, all bubble filters. I also have uh, media in my bubble filters, which is cool. I think. We got that file home media, which is supposed to, after like six months, to work with nitrites and stuff like that. And I got some babies coming along. Little fishies. There's some sword tailies in here. You see them in there. The mother for these guys is right here. There's the mom. There's daddy. Beautiful sword tails. Hey, Fred. Hmm. We almost on the other side somewhere, huh, Fred? Eh, she's hiding in the back. Lots of plants in there for them to mess with and hide with. Tiger barb tank. Cherry barb. <laughs> Little teeny plate coat. 
going to show my roti. <laughs> Here he comes. Yeah. That's about it. Hey, no? Huh? Yeah. Who's a good fishy? Well, that's it, folks. <laughs>